Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for another LEGO build. Today I have the very exciting uh, Barra Dura gift with purchase and we're going to be doing part two, well, part one slash two of the Battle of the Black Gate because essentially part one was obviously building Barra Dura but that was about more the review than it was starting the project. Behind me is going to be the mess that is uh, the future Battle of the Black Gate. It is going to be an extremely long, arduous, and ungodly expensive project, but I'm very excited to do so. Uh, obviously, like I said, part one was Barra Dur, part two is going to be the Fell Beast, part three is probably going to be starting the army build and stuff like that. I'm going to do the basics for this project while I finish up the huge, um, <laughs> the huge amalgamation that is my Harry Potter project. So I'm going to spend pretty much all of July hammering out Harry Potter content. Um, for the most part, just because I want to get that build to where it's, you know, seven foot by almost two to actually almost three feet when it's done, um, high, just, I want to get that as done as possible. Now, stuff like the Fell Beast, Barra Derb, starting to build the army, um, the minifigures for this project are going to be an absolute killer. Um, I'm not entirely excited about that, like Aragorn, getting off the white, Amir, which is actually sitting back there, excitingly enough, they're all 50 to $75, dollars like, it's crazy. Um, so I'm going to be gathering them as I go so that one day I can do like a whole army of orcs, a whole army of Rohan. And once my spending, <laughs> you know, from Baradur, the Great Hall, um, like 13 other new sets, um, once that all calms down, I have vacation coming up in a couple weeks, very excitingly enough. Um, so once that's all done with, I will be purchasing the Battle of the Black Gate itself for the actual gate portion of it, the Mouth of Sauron, Gandalf, um, the White, Aragorn and his King costumes, all that good stuff. Um, I don't want to take away from this, obviously, I just kind of want to give you the um, overall outlook on this project, kind of what we're looking at. I still have the Legolas and Gimli brickheads to do too, so a lot of Lord of the Rings, a lot of Harry Potter. Um, the city is on a slight hiatus right now. I still have city sets um, going in and out of my editing process, but I'm about a month ahead on all videos, um, and I'm trying to do so for vacation and stuff, obviously. I'm trying to bank up a lot. So um, This was the gift with purchase with Barra Dur. If you did not get it with Barra Dur in have fun on the third party market um i believe i just looked like two seconds before this video at ebay and it's basically 160 dollars if you want this so um crazy it, it is absolutely obscene but when it happens to be the fell beast the thing that everyone wants um everybody wants it now obviously there was some disappointment with this from people not necessarily from me i'm actually extremely happy with this gift with purchase i think it's awesome fell beast and nazgul what more do you want the answer to that of course is King Theoden, apparently, and the Witch King. Those were the two big things that people were just like, yo, this was this was the time. You could have given us a, our first Witch King. Um, and I don't mean, like, the Shadow version. I mean the actual Nazgul-based one. And then uh, a King Theoden that didn't cost $100. But it happens. It all well. You know, Nazguls are still expensive. We still got our own Nazgul. Um, the Fell Beast, the biggest thing for that is obviously you want one for the Barra Dur. Um, and the end project here, I do have some of the translucent, um, I don't know what they're called, the little pipe pieces to make things fly. I forget what they're called, and I do this every video that I use them. I forget. I'm going to try and have this flying around Barra Dur, at least in some variety. So I think that's going to look wicked, and I'm super excited to do that. Um, but that's basically where you're looking at. If you want this set, 160 to $200, which is just insane. Um, and I get it, you know, Sauron's going for like 140, I think for the most part, the mouth from this set, it's like another 70, so it is insane, but hey, it's the world we live in at this point. Um, obviously if Minas Tirith ever comes out, I would imagine that's going to be the Witch King, um, and that's kind of like my big theory of, it's coming, it has to be. Minas Tirith is my dream Lego set, and it, it better, it better be obscenely big. It's, Rivendell was 500. Barra Dur was 470. The Avengers Tower off to the side is 500. Um, Daily Bugle over there is 350. It needs to be massive. So if they do Minas Tirith, go all in. I, w I want it right there. I want it huge. I want it way bigger than the King's Castle back here. So um, I would absolutely love that, and I don't want to ramble on too much. But when we get that set, I think we'll get maybe some more Fel Beasts. Or if they do like a little Asgeliath set... Um, that would be a cool way to introduce Faramir. It'd be a really way to a uh, cool way to get another Fell Beast, some Rangers. Um, obviously, you know that's all here and there. Uh, they haven't. <laughs> nothing of that has been announced or leaked yet, nor will it be for a very long time. 
But I think Minas Tirith is like the next big step that they need to take with Lego Lord of the Rings, and they better make it obscene because that's what we're here for. <laughs> um, but yeah, so basically, um, we're going to be building this today. Obviously, this was the gift of the purchase um, for Bar Dirt. Contains 269 pieces, the Nazgul, and a Fell Beast. Pretty straightforward. Uh, I actually don't know how big this is, so I don't know how the whole flying process is going to work. But we're going to get there. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm going to be making a playlist with this that is literally the Battle of the Black Gate. If you're interested in seeing um, the review for Fire Dura, I'll have that link in the description as well. Um, if you're interested in Castle, get tons of Castle stuff. Obviously, you see the background. And then a massive, like I hinted before, about seven foot long um, Harry Potter Hogwarts and stuff display. So if you're interested in any of that, definitely feel free to check out the rest of the channel. Now let's get started in this build, folks. so here's the final build i actually really like it more than i thought i would it's it's big which i didn't and like again i said at the beginning i wasn't sure how big it would be which is why i didn't know how i was going to mount it for flying just yet um obviously these little runes of <laughs> their battle of osgiliath won't stay with it but it is a pretty cool little perch if you want to display this as a collector's piece for sure. Um, as for the minifigure, of course, we do have the Nazgul. I love the new great sword designs that they're using anymore. They look fantastic. Some neat torso print. A plain black face, of course, and that really tattered up uh, Dementor style cape. So very, very cool. My only complaint with this set is I don't like the plastic wings. They should be cloth. And I realize they couldn't be see-through with cloth. Well, not really, I guess. But that is the only thing I wish it would have would be, like, cloth wings of some kind. I'd rather them just be, like, extra tattered. And again, I know you probably couldn't get that color. That's it. It's not even a complaint. It's an awesome set, especially for a gift with purchase. Um, this is what the type of stuff that I love to look forward to. Um, like, with the Avengers Tower, it was a taxi. Eh, it's all right. Like, a taxi is fine. But a fell beast is cooler. Um, you know, for the Venator, you know, the last monster UCS and the first one I ever bought came with like a metal coin and uh, it, just cool stuff. That's what I like to see. I love really cool gift with purchases like this. Um, as for the build, it's fine. There's nothing too advanced. Um, be careful if you bump it, if your wings are off a little bit, just turn any of these little columns. Um, but other than that, nothing too extraordinary. Obviously, your Nazgul is going to sit in his little seat here. The spike work looks fantastic. The wings, I hope you can see the translucentness. I think that's a word. Uh, <laughs> overall with it. And then, of course, the actual claws um, do move up and down on those little hinged pieces. So depending on how you want to display it, um, they do rotate back and forth. So very, very cool build. I do really like it. I think it is an awesome looking set. The face leaves a little bit to be desired in my opinion. Um, but again, from a free gift with purchase set, you can't really be too picky. And I think this is a really, really awesome inclusion to the Lego Lord of the Rings lineup. Now we're going to take a quick peek at and see if we can get this bad boy to fly. All right. <laughs> well, so the piece I was trying to use were one of these. Or a few of these. I bought like 20. And turns out, Mr. Fellbeast over here is a little too thick for that. He's too heavy to hang off almost any portion of Baradur. And the little rock scene of Sam, Frodo, and Gollum that I made is super fragile already. So I couldn't do anything with that. So I basically had bought a bunch of the 1x2x5 um, columns. 
in Translucent, primarily for a backup plan to this. Actually, the initial plan, the backup plan, uh, Pick a Brick had those long mirror pieces, so I wanted to kind of be like flying over my desk or just flying off to the side. That didn't work out. I tried it many, many, many different ways, and it didn't work out at all. So I stacked five high, four deep, and it is leveling off the tail. I have the wings kind of positioned like it's flapping. Um, it's not ideal, in my opinion. Like, I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, however, it is kind of the best thing I'm going to do today. I, I really would love to get... And I actually did balance it on, a, like, six of those coming over top. But then it takes away from the front of Baradur, then it kind of blocks Sauron, who's just kind of chilling at the gate. Um, so I kind of did away with it. Also, you you may you may look at the pending battle here. Um, a lot of placeholders, um, some custom Lego minifigures from a uh, third-party seller, which are pretty cool. Amir can, a lot of cool stuff's going to be going on down here. That is all for a future video, but yeah, we're working on it. Um, very cool. I actually was working on that while trying to brainstorm this so it is flying you know the Nazgul is technically flying the fell beast is on his way to grab some poor Gondorian or Rohan soldier maybe Gimli even you know Gimli's small <laughs> um but that is just gonna about do it for this there's obviously some new displays are in the background too if you've been following the channel again being a month ahead is a great thing but then like there's so much um I have to cover in all these videos so yes there's new stuff in the background i will talk to uh, i'll talk about those another day but yes there's a now a disney display and uh, a clone war shrine um right behind this huge barrier so uh after this one i'm gonna say i'm probably gonna start the battle scene the black gate will come eventually i've been debating the orc forge i just don't want to leave um not enough room for an army so i kind of want to see uh, in the future, how much space I'm going to have after the Black Gate's in, because if I'm going to do a massive army, um, it's going to take a lot of time and resources. So, for now, I absolutely love the Felbies. Um, if you're a collector of LEGO Lord of the Rings, it is very much something you need to have. So thank you guys so much for joining me. Uh, stay tuned for plenty of this. Again, City, Hogwarts, all that good stuff. Uh, fishing videos, more and more LEGO builds, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Happy building, everybody.